Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm already trying to watch you already know the drill. If you're new here, hey, hello, hello. It's very unfortunate that you've made it to this video under these type of circumstances. But, you know, I'm still glad you're here. It is what it is. We're just going to make it work, make it do what it do. I'm not even going to talk y'all head off too much because I actually am in a rush. So, I can't do that today. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have things to do, places to be, people to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get straight into what's to come. Welcome to today's video. It has been a long, 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 long time since I've last done a quote unquote story time because I just feel like I told most of my stories and I don't have any other stories to tell. But I recently remembered this story and I remember talking about it one time on my channel, but that video is taken down now due to some inconveniences throughout my life that video just couldn't be my channel no more as you as you i can't talk it's been a long time since i told this story so i'm a little nervous so like the title states it's not clickbait today i will be telling the story about how i got jumped and my friends did nothing but watch um you know there was no get back there was no revenge none of that nothing like that in this case while doing my makeup so I'm doing makeup today because I'm going on a date with my boyfriend and I'm getting into the habit of doing my makeup on myself. So I wanted to do a video of me doing my makeup, but I didn't want to do like a girl talk or like answering questions. So I decided why not do a story time about how everybody in the whole world got me effed up. I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it while I start my brows. So I have a new brow pencil today. I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Eye Pencil in the color dark brown. I've never used this type of pencil before, so. And just for everyone who's new to my channel, this is my third time doing makeup ever in my life by myself, so bear with me if it looks a mess. If I don't like this pencil, I'm going to resort back to my other one that I was using. Don't mind my hair, I didn't do it yet. I got this band on because my wig was lifting. Oh, can I? Oh shit. This is a very dark pencil. Okay, you gotta be very careful with this one. Okay, so can I even talk? Yes. Can y'all see me? I hope so. Okay, so this happened when I was in the 11th grade, you guys. I was in the 11th grade. Mm, this eyebrow pencil is gonna look wild. I haven't told this story in so long, you guys. Oh my god. Some feelings are gonna be hurt, but it is what it is. You hear me? Okay, yeah, I don't know if I like this eyebrow pencil. Like, it, you can really see, like, the imperfections of this shit. So, I may not use this. I need to brush my brows. Oh, my God. Y'all see what y'all doing to me? This is the brow pencil I usually use. It's, like, way lighter. So this story takes place when I was in high school in the 11th grade. It was just about to be Christmas break. I remember because my suspension was so freaking long and i'm like why is it so long and that's because we were going on break probably like the week or two after the fight um occurred so one day in 11th grade i remember i was in science class and me and my friend we had the same science class but this particular day she was in class but like she walked out and she was going to the bathroom or she was going wherever she was supposed to go and then a couple minutes later probably like 20 minutes go by or so probably not even that many probably like 10 probably like five she texts in the group chat this brow pencil not gonna work i don't even feel like fooling around with it today because today not today to be playing with it i'll probably fill in my brows with that one but i'm gonna just use my other one for now but like i was saying so this particular day she wasn't in class she was she was in class but she had left um she texts in the group chat in the group chat it was me and like two of my other friends she texts in the group chat and she was like i'm about to fight and we was all like you know stop playing like you lying blah 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 because we always you know did stuff like that we'll text and be like oh i'm about to fight or you know this girl got me effed up blase 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 but it was nothing like it was giving not fight it was not giving fight so everybody was like girl you lying like blah 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 and then my other friend she texted and was like no, like, she's dead ass. We're about to fight. So, we're like, um, okay. Mind you, two of my friends, they weren't there. But only, um, me, my friend that was fighting with me and this other girl, we were, um, all at school. So, it was actually not two people in the group chat. It was, like, five of us. Okay, guys. Editing Tommy here. So, I just want to add so y'all are not 
too confused because I was so busy trying to get my eyebrows done that I, what I'm saying, it probably doesn't make sense. But it was five of us in a group chat. It was my friend that I was fighting with, my friend who responded and said, like, no, she's dead ass, getting ready to fight. And two of my other friends who weren't there because they were seniors, so seniors had like half a day. So just like in the middle of the day, so they weren't there. And then they, the fifth person is me. But there's also another person who comes in. She makes the sixth person. She wasn't in the group chat, but she was our friend. She was just there. I don't know how she got there, but she was there when the fight happened. It used to be five of us, but it no longer is giving that. All right, I text back, and I'm like, you know, like, where you at? And she's like, we're on second floor. So what do I do? I take my little soap up to second floor to go be with my friend because she said she's about to fight. So me being a good friend, I'm like, you know, my friend, they're not going to jump my friend. I'm going to make sure it's a fair fight. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo -dee -woo because at the end of the day, this is my friend. So I get to the second floor. Mind you, I have on a chilly sweatsuit that says my school name because I cheered for my school so I had on my cheerleading sweatsuit and I had on some Ferragamo flip-flops I still had those flip-flops to, to this day so every time I went to school I always wore slides like that's just was a given I'm not wearing no shoes or nothing like that and this was back when Crocs like wasn't popping so I didn't wear Crocs I just had on my slides and so I had on my slides and I had on this cheerleading sweatsuit. Keep that in mind. When I went upstairs, I had like no intentions on me fighting. I was just there to make sure it was a fair fight, make sure nobody jumped my friend. I don't like that. You can say like I had intentions, but it really like wasn't intentions for real. I was just going to make sure they didn't jump her pretty much. So y'all. As soon as I get upstairs, a lot of y'all not. So like the way my school was proportioned, it was a big ass school and they had like so many ways to get into and out of the building. So it was a bunch of staircases, you know? So I came from one of the main stairs. And once I got up the stairs, I'm looking for my friend. But I turn to the left of me and I see my friend tying her shoe. So while my friend is tying her shoe, the girl that she was fighting, she like runs to my friend and she sneaks my friend. So I'm like, here we go. Right off the bat, she wanna start some shit. So, I mean, I guess you could say this part was actually kind of my fault because like, I did not have to do what I did. And you know, I learned from that, but I still did at the end of the day because you know, that's my friend. Nobody gonna say I'm fake, blah, 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 blah. And that's one thing about me. Like, if you know me, you know. I'm always doing for people even though they won't do shit back for me. Like, I'm always just this rider. Like, I will die for anybody that I love. I will do whatever you need me to do. No questions asked. If you need me, I will be there. Like, that's just always been me. I'm getting ready to conceal my brows. But I use foundation as a concealer. I use... Actually, I do. I use concealer at the bottom of my brows, and I use foundation at the top, so it can blend in with my color. And I'm using the Morphe Glow Stunner Foundation. So I guess you can say this part was kind of on me, but hold on, y'all. I'm not good at my brows, so I can't really talk while I'm doing them. So the girl snuck my friend while my friend was tying her shoes. So I'm like, nah, bitch, you're not gonna take my friend. That's dead. So what I do is I run over to the girl and my friend, and I hit the girl, like point blank, period. But but my intentions was when I hit this girl, it wasn't to necessarily like jump the girl. It was just so my friend can like when she finally get from tying her shoe, she's gonna beat your ass. Like <laughs> you're not by the sneaker. But you know what is what it is. So after I hit the girl, like I think I, I don't know where I punched her. I think it was her face. I don't remember. It was that's it was so much going on that that time. And then literally probably like two seconds after I hit the girl, her friend. And her boyfriend, y'all. Her friend and her boyfriend. They come over there and they start whooping my ass. I, sh I wouldn't even call it like whooping my ass because I don't care who says it was, who says it's not. At the end of the day, anybody in their right mind would know that that shit wasn't it. It wasn't fair. So basically what happened was the girl who my friend was fighting, her boyfriend... He slammed me into the ground. And there was a video. I wish I had a video, but I don't have it anymore. Somebody probably has it. If I have it, I'll put the video in here because, like, I really don't give a fuck. But if I do have the video, I'll put it in here. But and then you tell me it's back. So I did come across the video again because I told y'all I did post this video on my channel, like, a long time ago. So the video was already up with the footage and everything else. 
but I'm reposting the video for like people that are new and everyone who don't already know the story time because the video it was only up for probably like a month or so it wasn't up for a very long time because like I said I had opportunities that were presented to me that I couldn't have nothing on my channel like that and even though I'm bigger than what I was back then now I'm still only going to post like which I need to see bro like anything you don't need to see I'm not going to include it but like what you need to see I'll make sure I insert so I did record this video off my computer so i'm sorry if it's a little disoriented but you basically you get the gist of the footage okay y'all so editing time here again so i had the video because it was on my channel like you see it right there it was on my channel but i'm going to show you out a clip of the boy he is in gray yeah i want to see him so this is him right, right here in like this area so just watch that part see so that's me that's the girl i was fighting right here and you can still see like him right here and you see me i'm i'm already going down so he has me they both got me actually i'm just going down i'm going down see yeah i see it i just i'm down she's standing up the girl i'm fighting she's standing up i'm down at that point it was over all right, guys, so this is moments before the boy had um, threw me on the ground. This is when I was getting ready to fight the friend. So, yeah, I don't think that I'm capping when I say this. But, like, you can see her. She has on, like, these Ugg boots right here. She's running up on me. She's in the all black. So, you see her running. She's running, and then, like, she pushes me. I don't remember if she hit me or she pushed me, but it looked like she pushed me. And, like, from there, if we were going to fight one-on-one, -on -one, we were. But after that, that's when the boy had ran you know and tackle me and i'll make sure i insert a clip of that as well again okay so i also thought i should note this so the girl in the green that is who my friend was fighting and on the bottom obviously that is my friend and the girl in the red jacket that is the girl who originally said like no she's dead ass so as you can see she was like hoping the girl get off of her and then like their fight was over way before mine because you know obviously they broke it up and this girl in the red, even though we're not friends anymore, no I'm not even going to say she didn't help because she actually, in fact, did. It was one of her and it was two fights going on. So I don't blame her because it was so much going on that she couldn't be there at both one time. So I felt as though, you know, she was hoping my friend because at this time she was on the ground before me. So then, like, by the time I was... um already on the ground like it was basically it was basically like too late but after that she did like help me and break the fight up um to my recollection i could be mistaken but i know for a fact that she did do something in the video i'm not going back but if you go back a couple times you can see the girl in the white and a ponytail like that's my friend who did nothing she was just watching i didn't have it i don't have it anymore because that was like four or five years ago probably i probably jazz. it was probably like three four years ago so why the fuck would i still have a fight from three years ago if you still have fights from high school you're weird so her boyfriend comes and he literally y'all he slams me into the ground imagine he played football so he slammed me into the ground and my face literally went like boo and i had braces at the time so when I hit the ground, that shit hurt so bad. Oh, my God. When I hit the ground, like, I literally fell face first. I bit my lip, and my lip was bleeding. Like, my whole mouth was, like, bleeding because I just bit through my fucking lip because I had braces. If you have braces, then you know, like, you got to be very, very careful with anything that you do because your braces are, like, very, very very sensitive so after that i didn't feel it because the adrenaline was rushing but like once i saw myself out i was like oh shit they my shit up so while i'm fighting i didn't know who i was fighting i was just you know trying to fight back the best way i could even though i really couldn't because during the fight i had my phone in my hands i had my headphones because like i said it wasn't my intentions to really beat this girl up. It was just to, you know, make sure no janky shit was going on. And that's what the fuck happened. It was some janky shit going on. The girl who I was fighting, it was her friend. After the boy, like, got me on the ground, 
the girl basically had like a one up on me because I was already on the floor. So she was pulling my hair and I, I lost my shoes, lost my phone, lost my headphones. I lost everything you could possibly think of because like at this point I'm already on the ground. So it's no way for me to like get up. And I, every time I tried to get up, I would slip because I had no fucking shoes on. Here is the MFing kicker. Y'all not going to be ready for this. Okay, so I just did my brows. Um, I'm going to fill them in a little bit more. But I'm getting ready to apply my foundation. What time is it? And I'm using the foundation from Juvia's Palace. I forgot the color of this. Oh, it's in the color Utopia 400. My friend who I was fighting for, I ain't gonna say with, who I was fighting for, her and the girl she was fighting, they had the same boyfriend, which is why they were fighting from jump. That's why. They had beef like the entire year because they was with the same boy. And I'm like, bro, just leave him alone. Like, you know, shit ain't worth it. Blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, it was all young. So I was jazzing her up like, yeah, friend with her ass. Blah, 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 blah. So they had the same boyfriend to sum it up. So they always was talking about how they going to fight, how they going to fight. Blah, 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 blah. Them hoes never fought. It was all bark, no bite. So, like, it was just nothing going on. So this particular day, like, it really caught me off guard because they never fought before so i was like oh shit like okay but to clear that up so back to where i was talking about what my story when i'm fighting a girl so me and the girl were fighting and whatnot so like i said she ended up dragging me across the floor blah blah blah, blah. i lost my phone lost my keys lost everything i had in my hand not keys in my headphones whatever else i had i ended up losing all of that stuff the fight got broken up i think by security or my other friend i can't remember but the fight got broken up um it was two girls with me and my friend who was fighting so one of the girls i'm not long uh, both of them girls i'm no longer cool with but the girl who i have like no problem with like it's no shade towards her because i think she like jumped in i can't remember what she did but like she did kind of like take part in it but she didn't like take part in it for real for real because because my friend was fighting and i was fighting so she was trying to help like us both but she was more so helping the other girl my other friend who was fighting but the other girl she was just standing there looking like she did nothing literally nothing you see these people putting their hands on me and you're doing absolutely nothing not saying like it's your responsibility but i know for a fact like if my friends is fighting and somebody puts their hands on them, like, all fucks, I'm jumping in if they're getting jumped. Like, I just thought that was, like, calling shit. Which is why I was even in a situation for me to fucking end up fighting with my friend. Because I don't even get down like that. Like I told y'all, my loyalty, it runs too deep. Loyalty runs real, real deep with me. I don't play none of those games. You fight, I fight. The fight gets broken up by either security or my friend. I don't remember who broke the fight up, but the fight ends up getting broken up. And once the fight was over, my friend took me to my coach's room, my cheer coach. Because, like I said, I was cheering at this time, y'all. So, we would always, like, go to our coach's room for whatever. I go to my coach's room. The first thing I do is, like... I, I'm like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? I couldn't find my phone. So my friend ended up having my phone. I called my mom and I was like, Mom, I just got into a fight. And she's like, you know, like, what do you mean you got into a fight, Tommy? Like, she's used to this. And mind y'all, during this time, so I, I'm just giving y'all a little background, like, on my history during this time of my years in high school. I was a very bad kid in high school. Like, I was hanging with the wrong crowd. I had this boyfriend who I was just being so reckless with and doing anything with him i'm putting this concealer under my eyes i never tried this method but i'm getting ready to try it now so hopefully i don't like casper but we'll see so yeah i was a really 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 bad kid in high school i would always skip school i would get suspended and i didn't even tell y'all this but literally when i got suspended for this fight i was just suspended the week prior for skipping school like with the same friend who i fought with with the same friend who i fought with i got suspended with her a week before it so we had just came off a of suspension and end up getting suspended again i'm always so transparent with my past because my past is what made me the person who i am today because i've learned how to grow from it literally probably not even let's say five minutes later you know i get a call on the um 
announcement or they come to the room i think they came to the room where i was in and was like you know tommy we need you to come down to security because we was getting ready to talk about what happened watch security footage all that good shit i get downstairs or whatever Ooh, i like this kind of like light look i guess you could say i get downstairs to the security office where they had me and my freaking face was hurting so bad y'all like my shit was real like aching they're like you want some ice and i'm like yeah like what I, my shit like i'm telling y'all i really got slammed to the ground by a whole ass football player but at the time i did not know that i thought it was the girl my friend was fighting and the girl i started fighting I didn't know that. A um, little backstory on me and the girl I was fighting, though. We had already had, like, beef prior. But, again, it was all bark, no fucking bite. So she definitely had the upper hand on this one when she saw that I was starting to fight her friend. And she wanted to go ahead and jump in it. But I had beef with so many people in high school. Y'all, don't be like me. Please do not be like me. <laughs> like, everybody like, you inspired me, girl. If only you knew what the hell I've been through. I was security office. They call our parents, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, the girl I fought, she goes missing. I have no idea where she went to this day. I still don't know where she was, who she was with. I think she left school because she was scared that she was going to get jumped. Because my friends who weren't there, they were on their way. So I just did my foundation and everything. Hopefully it looks good. Time check again. 340, all right. I didn't even prime my face. Oh my God, I forgot. But now I'm moving on to my eyeshadow. I'm using this palette from Juvia's Palace. We in security, everybody's sitting at the table talking about what happened, blah, 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 blah. Except for the girl I fought and the girl that my friend fought. So for eyeshadow, I'm using the color Kano, which is this one, that one, and I'll also add like these two. I think I'm gonna do the gold today. I love the gold, how I had it last time. I think I'm gonna do the gold again today. So yeah, we all in the mediation. We all talking about like the incident that just occurred and how unacceptable it was and the consequences. All, 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 all. We end up getting suspended for like a week. I think it was a week, but we also had like winter break. So we was out of school for like an entire month, y'all. An entire month. During this time, the video of my fight, it starts going. I'm not even going to say viral, like, because it definitely didn't go viral. It started like getting a buzz from different schools and everybody was like, oh my God, I'm so glad she got beat up and blah, blah, blah. There's a whole bunch of bark, whole bunch of bark, you know, but that's always been my norm for me. Especially in high school because the boy I was messing with, everybody was messing with him. And he was talking to every girl in the world. So everybody wanted to beef with me. And the video starts going high school viral on Twitter. And then my best friend sees it. So she sees it and she's like, I'm going to call the girl my friend fought banana. So it was no confusion right now. So my best friend, who wasn't in a fight, nothing like that. She didn't know what was going on. She text me and was like banana didn't jump you and like i said during this time i'm thinking both of the girls was fighting me i never knew because i couldn't see for real so i'm like what you mean she didn't jump me like yes yeah, she did i know for a fact two people were hitting me at one time she was like no it was chocolate and chocolate is the boy who my friend was messing with and who the girl my friend was fighting was messing with banana so my friend and banana was both messing with the same boy and that same boy who we're talking about chocolate he's he's the one who slammed me into the ground it was clear as day but everybody was like girl no you just got beat up like stop playing so much anyways so at this time i'm pissed like i'm heated because i'm like no fucking way a dude just put his hands on me y'all like when i say i was so flabbergasted i was literally in shock you're shocked don't be shocked i was shocked because i'm like there is no way this happened to me like you're not gonna put your hands on me especially me being a female and you play football like we all in our right mind know a girl who doesn't play football and not even a girl who don't play football a nigga period put his hands on you it's not okay it's not okay at all I have an older brother. My older brother, tuh, tuh. just know when you see my older brother, he's not going to be nice to you. There's nothing going on. Like, if I ever got to call my older brother for something, it is not good. You do not want me to have to call him for absolutely nothing. If you see my older brother, you better hope it's for something good. I hit my older brother up, and I'm like, you know, bro, 
this boy put his hands on me. He goes off. Goes off. He <laughs> goes off. He like, what school did you go to? Say you know the time. He like, what school did you go to? What time you got out of school? Blah, 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 blah. Game on. He was like, yeah, all right. Literally, y'all, that next fucking day, my brother and my godbrother were at that school. I don't have highlights, so what I do is I just use my eyeshadow and, like, I scrape it really, really hard and go like this to get, like, a little glow. They were at that school from, like, one something to, like, dismissal. And we got out of that school at, like, 2.45, I think, or 2.25, a weird time like that. So, my best friend at the time, I told her, I'm like, you know, my brother's getting ready to be up there. Let me know once the boy come outside or whatever. She's like, that. So, this whole entire time, like, she's texting me, texting me, texting me, texting me, texting me. I'm getting so nervous because my brother... He does not play, y'all. Like, he is literally... What is this? A lip liner? So, as soon as my brother see the boy, he go up to the boy and he like, did you put your hands on Tommy or something, something like that. Something in that nature. In front of everybody, y'all. In front of everybody. And the boy like, uh... I don't know if he said, I don't know. What the fuck did I just do? I don't know what he said. I don't know if he said, I don't know or something. He said something and did not end too well for him because my brother... He stole him. If you don't know what stole me, he punched him in the face. Punched him smooth in his face, y'all. No questions asked, because there ain't nothing to talk about. Punched him smooth in his face in front of the whole school. Everybody was like, oh, mm -hmm. I wasn't there. I'm just repeating what everybody told me, they said. So they was like, oh, no, he didn't. Y'all, I got these lashes. I love them so much, but I cannot find my other lash. Like, I'm so pissed because these are the lashes that I like to wear with my makeup because they're so big and they're so cute. And it just brings up the entire look. So I need to find some other lashes to wear. All right, so I got these minks. They're from Mink by K&J in the... Lash style bossy, so let's see how these look on me. And after my brother hit him in the face, the principal or assistant principal, whatever he was, like tried to pull the boy away from my brother because the boy was fake and like he was getting ready to fight my brother. And all I'm gonna say is, you he probably would have died that day. After that happens, this entire week, like the girl who I fought, she was so like she was just faking on finsta on instagram whatever she was on she was just going hard like she was faking y'all so bad like faking so bad like her fighting me was like a reward to her she was so happy but every time i hit her up like you know where you at let's bump it out one-on-one -on -one outside of school she would never respond to me which would give me good because i'm like how you gonna do all this faking on instagram but when i text your phone like you don't want to fight. She responded to me like a little bit, but she was never like on a tip like, all right, let's meet up. Let's fight this. Old me, I was going to pull up to her house. So I know where she lived. I was going to pull up to her crib and beat her ass. During this time, like I said, I was still trying to establish myself for real. And I ain't had time for that. Like all that back and forth stuff with you. I don't got time for it. Whatever. She ain't want to fight me. I'm not going to make you fight me. Like, I got the messages to prove that you didn't want to wreck. But whatever. During this time, everybody saw my how I got beat up, blah, blah, blah. It was making me so mad. So, I posted a video on my YouTube. If you've been a subscriber for that long, you've probably seen the video. But during this time, but during that time, the video had to get taken down because it was too much information that was being put out. And the boy who hit me, he tried to fake press charges or whatever. Was it in that deep? So, the video was down. But in that video, it had receipts. It had had like um the fight in it like it had everything in there so after you fight the video gonna keep going around keep going around keep being sent out for a real 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 real, real long time until it eventually died down which it did but during the time of the fight i told my best friend and like everybody was like laughing or people who i was cool with they was they thought it was funny like you know shit like that so my best friend takes one of these girls who was laughing at me on twitter or something in the scent that girl went to our school so my best friend she want all the smoke she always on go for me always has been she still is to this day because she know like right now since i'm like in a position where i don't be having time to fight you bitches or nothing like that she's gonna do it for me i don't want her to but that's just who she is so this girl was talking trash on twitter i told my best friend because my best friend was at the school during the time I was suspended, but my best friend, she was still, you know, she was at school or whatever. So, she ends up fighting the girl at the school, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, like, my best friend really just fought this girl because she was talking trash about 
me on Twitter. I have on two separate lashes. Can you tell? I feel like on camera you can, <laughs> but in person, not really. I would need to find this lash because I like this lash like with all my makeup looks. All this makeup got in my hair. I just feel like if your friends get jumped, whether you're there or you're not there, you're supposed to get the man. You're supposed to go find him. If you can't get the man, then you're supposed to get his man. Like Lil Dirk said. Like, I, that's how I just feel like people should have did for me, but it wasn't like that. And you know, the girl who I was real cool with, like, you know, I just feel like it was so wild that you didn't do anything, you know? Like, you just, you just sat there and watched. You literally just sat there and watched. In the video, you can see her just watching the fight. That whole entire week, I was trying to, like, go to the girl house, beat her up. Nobody was trying to go. A couple weeks later, you know, you gotta have, like, a mediation before you go back to school or whatever. I didn't even end up going back to the school because I got put out. <laughs> I got put out the school before my suspension was even up. Because you know I had someone come to the school. So that was considered like trespassing in a way. So that was a red flag. I didn't live in the school's area. Like where I live now, it's not far from my school at all. But it's not in the zone. Technically in the zone. So I wasn't I wasn't in the school. So I knew somebody else's address. And then y'all, and then. Let's get to this. So mediation day comes. Mediation day come. It's all of us. Everybody who fought, except for the boy, put his hands on me because I love y'all not. This boy told the principal he felt like it was a threat for him. He, no, he was like he's scared for his life if he would have came to that meeting. And good, you should have been scared. It was real, real mute. And like the, we was talking about the situation or whatever, talking about what happened. And I had the I, the girl. We was like across from each other. So I was like, I was like, you know, like. We hit by ourselves and that's what we're trying to do. Like, I was trying to fight in the meeting, y'all. I was trying to beat this girl ahead so bad, like in the meeting. But of course, no, all bark, no bite. All bark, no bite. During the meeting, my principal, they didn't know who the boy who came into the school was. Because my brother, like, he's so alias. He didn't know who he, they didn't know who he was. They didn't know who he was. So, y'all, another thing that threw me off, because yeah, I know I said I was in a group chat with all these girls or like my friends and shit. So, like, when all this occurred, I didn't tell nobody my brother was going to school. I told nobody besides my best friend. She's the only person that knew them girls in the group chat. I didn't tell none of them. So, the, when my brother came up to the school, they thought it was the other girl's brother. And I didn't say nothing. Like, I was like, oh, well, I'm sorry that they think that. But, like, they was really trying to get me to snitch. Like, it really don't give snitch on my brother. On my brother, though. I think I'm going to snitch on my blood brother. Like, crazy crazy stop being friends with these girls y'all watch who you call your friends i'm telling you like in a heartbeat when shit come down to it they gonna always ride for themselves they're not gonna ride for you take my advice they found a picture of him on instagram or whatever and like he screenshotted it so my principal he walks around the meeting and he's like you know who this is to me my mom and my dad and i'm like no my, he asked my mom. My mom like, no. He asked my dad. My dad like, no. So he like, okay. So he get real irritated. The principal, he get real irritated because he know, like, we know who this is. Nigga, we're not going to snitch. We're not going to tell you who we know. Like, are you crazy? Bye. Towards, like, the, the entire meeting, the principal, like, just eyeing my dad, like, up and down. Like, real mad. Like, he real mad just eyeing my dad up and down. Like, so then, like, my father started mugging him back. And, like, my dad, y'all, my dad is so laid back. He's so chill. Like, my brother, but when it's time to flip out, my dad's going to flip. He says something to my dad. I don't know what he says. And then he, like, I'm off the clock. So what you trying to do? My father flips, y'all. I swear to God. Literally not even in the blink of an eye. My dad stand up. He's going off. My principal and my dad is about to fight. They are about to fight. I'm like, oh my god, this is so fucking ghetto. Mm, but that about the icing on the cake. Icing on the cake was my father about to fight my principal. And then like that night, he sent an email. The principal sent an email of apologizing for his action. Boy, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that was my story time on how I got jumped at school by a boy and a girl. And you know, this is all said to say, like, y'all want the story time so bad. I was like, hmm, I don't got no stories. Then I thought about it, I'm like, yeah, I got this one that I haven't talked about in a really, 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 really long time. I was fighting with my friend, ended up getting jumped, and then it just all went downhill for me. So if you get nothing from this story, only fight people who will, who you know for sure is gonna fight back with you. Not gonna watch you get beat up or nothing like that. Like nothing like that. 
all of that situation made me the person I am today. However, I would never, I would not do that again. Like, I would never fight for nobody ever again in my life, except for like my best friends and family. But like, if you're just a friend, I'm not fighting for you because I'm not putting myself in that situation no more. Especially now that I got a bigger name. Like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I have my fair share of that. Like, I'm too old, too grown. All that high school shit is out the window. This is also the finished makeup look. I may change my lashes. I don't know because they don't match. But I'm really, 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 really going to try to find this other eyelash. But like I said, I'm in a rush shot. My boyfriend's on his way to come get me very, very shortly. Someone's calling me. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye!